الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله I know people get tired of hearing about the sects and the groups and about bid'ah and sunnah but the main objective behind those kind of discussions and discourse by the way, it's about 110 degrees out here in the desert in Al Ahsa in Saudi Arabia. Uh, the main reason behind this type of discourse is to warn the Ummah. Here's a dead bird, interesting, probably that sun. It's to warn the Ummah of the dangers of deviating from the religion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah wa ta'ala says that اليوم أكملت لكم دينكم This day I perfected my religion for you. What is absolutely necessary for us to believe and understand is that the religion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is complete. It's not necessary for us to begin to look for or begin to change uh, the way, uh, the re revelation with newly invented interpretations to suit our desires. Yes, we need fiqh fi deen. We need to be able to analyze and see how to apply the fiqh, the mu'amalat, with the newly invented situations. But when it comes to creed and the general madhab or minhaj of ahl sunnati wal jama'ah, this is tawqifiyya. This is tawqifiyya. This is meaning that you can't change it. It is what it is. It's something, it's untouchable. Because when you begin to distort and change the menhaj to say now it's okay to, uh, for example, in the most extreme scenarios, to uh, accept uh, grave worshipping. And that there's benefit or there's maslaha in being with the grave worshippers. Oh, it's okay. We should sit with the tekfiris because we're both calling the tawheed. Although they have deviated from the tatbiq uh, in mu'amalat and the ahkam and masail with, re uh, with regards to masail minhajiya. La, we can't accept that because that is where, that is where the danger lies. And this is why our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said If Tarakatil Yahud Ala Ifda Wasabi in Firka If Tarakatil Nasara Ala Ithnatain Wasabi in Firka We're gonna have to go back guys, it's getting blazing hot. With Tarakatil Yahud Ala Ifda Wasabi in Firka If Tarakatil Nasara Ala Ithnatain Wasabi in Firka وَسَتَفْتَارِكُ Meaning فِي مُسْتَقْبَلْ هَذِهِ أُمَّةِ أَلَى ثَلَاثَ وَسَبَعِينَ فِرْقَ كُلُّهَا فِي النَّارِ إِلَّا وَاحِدَةَ كُلْنَا مَنْ هِيَ يَا رَسُولُ اللَّهِ قَالَ مَنْ كَانَ عَلَى مِثْلِ وَمَا كَانَ عَلَيْهِ وَأَسْحَابِ وَكَمَا قَالَ النَّبِيُّ صلى الله عليه وسلم So the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said that the Jews would break into 71 sects, the Christians into 72 sects, my nation into 73 sects, all of them in the fire except one. They said, who are they, Ya Rasulullah? He said, those are upon what I'm upon and what my companions are upon. So, Ahabatifillah, when looking at the, the, the madhab of Ahl Sunnati with Jama'ah, those principles, we cannot alter those principles just for the sake of people's claim of unity and people's claim that we're dealing with social ills and people's claim that we're giving importance to matter such and such and matter such and such. No doubt all of those things, no doubt social ills and all of those things are addressed by the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and that we have to keep and put everything in perspective. That the Sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam radiyallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een 
faced challenges and difficulties and sinfulness in their societies that they had to deal with, and they dealt with it through Iman. So this is why focusing on our Iman, focusing on our hearts, focusing on everything in the deen is how we'll find salvation and protecting and preserving the foundation of Islam by adhering to the book and the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam while at the same time calling to Allah azza wa jal with wisdom and hikmah based on the book and the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in order to heal our communities. And that means also refuting, that also means rejecting any religious aberrations, meaning distortions of the sacred text, distortions of ibadat, distortions of mu'amalat that is uh, already been uh, codified uh, in Islam. And the way we deal with that is through wisdom and through hikmah. قال الله سبحانه وتعالى في كتاب الكريم كل هذه سبيلي أدعو لله على بصيرة Allah تبارك وتعالى says, say this is my path. That's why we can't tamper with it. Ed'u illallahi ala basira. Call to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with wisdom or with insight in ilm. Wa qala ta'ala fi kitab al-kareem Ed'u illasbili rabbika bil hikmati wa mu'idati al-hasana wa jadil hum billati hiya ahsan. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitab al-kareem and call to the path of your Lord with wisdom and beautiful preaching and argue with them in a way that's better. So we we're always should be observant of how we deal with one another, how we deal with other human beings, whether they be Muslim or not, whether they be from Ahl Bidah or not, that we have to have a concern for their guidance and a concern for our own guidance and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with ikhlas, with the bad Allah sunnah, and may Allah bless us to be a source of guidance and not a source of distortion and misguidance. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad.